So, um, <laughs> I've been doing thermodynamics homework, and I have to interpolate, and I've been manually interpolating all semester. And I know how to interpolate, and we don't have to interpolate for the exams, where we just have to round to the closest value. So for the question I'm working on right now, I get 114 BTU per pound mass, and we're supposed to be at 100 PSI. So I look at this and say, it's pretty freaking close to 114, so we might as well just call it 80. But we lose points if we just call it 80. So I have to actually interpolate. So I've been manually doing interpolation, but it's very time consuming and I don't have to do it for the exam. And it is literally algebra one, it is y equals mx plus b. And then you solve for a point on the slope. I can do that. So I, I'm gonna code it. Okay, so I got it to calculate the slope accurately. I did this in like seventh grade or something because I was bored. So that that's the easy part. I felt like plotting the points relative to each other so you can kind of see and then we'll plot a line because the idea is it's going to be somewhat linear and thermodynamics and then we'll plot a point wherever that is and we'll see that that ends up being on the line to estimate the value. I just gotta actually do that bit now, the hard part. Yeah, there's the interpolation formula, middle minus bottom divided by slope plus the initial position for finding the x variable and for finding the y variable it's time slope. So this tells me the two x1 or x3 y3 and so now I've plotted it over here and you know on the paper we're at 114.75 is what our calculated value over, was over here. So it is pretty close to 114.06 compared to 118.91. So, this is looking good. So I have now added the function that draws the line. And then I also have it so that I can solve for the other value. So right now I'm solving for the unknown x coordinate. But if I wanted to solve for the unknown y coordinate, I'd put a value here and play, put a to be 0, and it would do it. And it draws me a line, so I can see that they're all collinear. That's so cool. And yes, this is made for constant temperatures, but it works exactly the same with constant pressures. Because this we're all doing, looking at constant pressure. But instead, if I was jumping from this pressure to this pressure, I wanted to find something in the middle. And I said at a constant temperature of like 100 Fahrenheit or something, I could totally do that. Coding is cool. Thermodynamics is cool.